Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Cash App and more specifically, I'm going to try to answer a question that I've been getting a lot lately. And that is how do you receive Bitcoin on Cash App? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, this is gonna be a really quick video. There's not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you wanna receive Bitcoin on Cash App? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe someone's paying you in Bitcoin, but you're not sure exactly how you can receive it on Cash App. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's all handled here in the app. It's this green and white one right here. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I'm going to open up my Cash App now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and opened up my Cash App. This is the home screen here. One thing I want to let you know is that in order to receive Bitcoin on Cash App, you do have to have a verified account. Once you've verified your account on Cash App, then you will have access to a wallet address. If you need help with that process, go back and watch my other video that describes that process in detail. So this is assuming you've already verified your Cash App. Now, if you want to receive Bitcoin on Cash App, most of the process is going to be handled by the other person, whoever's sending you Bitcoin. However, in order for them to send you Bitcoin so you can receive it in your Cash App, they do need some key specific information from your Cash App. And how you find that is from here on the home screen, go ahead and click on this little Bitcoin icon down here on the bottom right. And once you click there, it's going to show the historical chart for Bitcoin. But in order to receive Bitcoin on your Cash App, you want to scroll down until you get to this box right here called View Bitcoin Address. I'm going to click there now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and clicked there. Next, this pop up is going to happen. And here is what the information is that you need to provide to that person who's sending you Bitcoin to your Cash App. And you can do one of two different things. Here along the top, there's going to be this long string of alphanumeric digits. This is your wallet address inside your Cash App. So you want to give this to the person who's sending you Bitcoin so you can receive it in your cash app. However, each digit needs to be exactly correct. So to avoid any kind of typos, usually what I'll do is click right here on copy and that way it's copied onto my clipboard and you can easily paste it into an email or a text message and send it to that person. Once they have that Bitcoin address, they can work through whatever app that they're working with and send their Bitcoin into your cash app Bitcoin at this address. If that person happens to be standing next to you and they need your Bitcoin address, they can easily scan this QR code and it'll bring them directly directly to your Bitcoin wallet address. One thing you don't want to do is just verbally name off your Bitcoin wallet address, because if that person writes it down incorrectly and they send it to a different wallet, it's likely that Bitcoin is gone forever. Also, I want to note, depending on the app that that person is using, when they add your Bitcoin wallet address into their app for companies like crypto.com, a lot of times those apps have a 24 hour cooling off period. So what that means is when they add your Bitcoin wallet address to your cash app, so you can receive Bitcoin, a lot of apps won't let them send Bitcoin from their wallet into your Cash App wallet for 24 hours. And that's to help prevent any kind of fraud or scams. So if you're looking for the Bitcoin to be received into your Cash App immediately, you want to make sure to check what the terms are for the app that they're going to be using or whatever wallet they will be using. So if you're looking to receive Bitcoin on your Cash App, that's pretty much all you have to do. Most of the work is going to be due on the other person who's sending their Bitcoin into your Cash App. Also, if there is no cooling off period for their app, sometimes Bitcoin can take some time to go through once it has been verified on the blockchain. I've seen it go through as early as a couple of minutes, but sometimes it can take a couple of hours. So just kind of keep that in mind. So there you have it, guys. If you're looking for information on how you can receive Bitcoin on your Cash App, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to our channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.